Hi everyone. My name is Japel Hernandez and thank you so much for having me. I want to thank Limitless Power Coach Training and Consultancy for inviting me to be your speaker today and I hope you're well. For those who are joining us uh, via this Zoom, thank you for registering and yeah, thank you so much for just being here. Um, for those who are watching via YouTube thank, or Facebook, wherever you are, thank you also for being here. All right, so here in the Zoom meeting, I see Leonila, Daniel, Naomi, Charisse, Angelica, Richelle, Wilma, Michelle, Charisse, Reginald, Pao, Roy, Yeni. Um, Naomi, uh, Greg, Annalyn, Yeni, Roy, Pao, uh, Angel, and Rubel, and a lot of you. So uh, for those who are here, I just want to have a fun conversation for those who are in the Zoom meeting. And if you're in the online, the live um, chat, can you just um, share on your chat, um, chat area what are your challenges during um, personal challenges as a leader during this COVID pandemic? All right. So I'm going to wait for you. I'm going to wait for about three to five people. Please chat below um, on our chat, chat box. What, have, what are your challenges during um, this um, crisis? So, yes, please, please um, comment below. Okay, I, I lang gusto mag chat. All right. Okay, so I, I think everyone's a bit shy. All right, wait. So for Rubel, okay, thank you. So Rub, Rubel, um, ways of communicating, I agree. Yeah, Naomi, I agree with you. Um, staff being remote is, is very hard. I also deal with that problem. For Joanna, it's, um, yeah, uh, okay, yeah. Hardware from office to staff, it's really hard, especially kung malayo, no? Um, yes. And then also for Leonila, it's monitoring your staff when you're in work at home. Talagang now is a test of trust and relationship with your company, right? So, yeah. Okay. Um, thank you, all, everyone, for just sharing. Um, we all are in the similar boat. We're all having challenges as a leader. So, at least now you can just say, at least hindi ako nag-iisa, di ba? <laughs> Um, my name is Jaypul Hernandez, and I'm here to talk about leadership. So I am in leadership positions. So I, ha I run two businesses. I lead Alpha Logistics. So we're, we're a logistics company, and then I'm the president there, and I'm also the CEO of a training company. It's called FFP, Forward Finder Programs. I do corporate training or corporate inspirational speaking and coaching for different organizations. Um, I also lead a feast with Brother Bo Sanchez and um, there. So I, I'm a husband and I love, um, you know, I love it as a leader. My favorite part is when amazing things happen. Yung, yung parang wala nangyayari, tapos biglang may magandang mangyayari. Um, it, when it seems like nothing, um, you're just pushing forward and Minsan parang, ano ba tong ginagawa ko sa buhay? Tapos, you just keep pushing and eventually something amazing happens. That's what I love about being a leader. And some of us, um, like me, I never knew that I was meant for leadership. Basically, um, when I grew up, I, I'm sorry, growing up while I was in high school, college, and then started working, I was always forced to be in leadership um, roles. So, I didn't know na... It was in me. So yun lang, just wanted to share it to you. So some of you might have been accidental leaders or you've been leaders for a long time. And whatever your leadership situation, the point is you're a leader. As long as you're leading one or two persons, you're already a leader. As long as people follow you, no matter how many they are, you are already in a leadership position. 
And I believe it's time during crisis, especially to embrace your call for leadership. Why? Because um, pansinin yun naman. I don't want to be very political, but in this country and in the the world, um, leadership is tested, de ba? Because of COVID, um, companies, governments, um, even the religious leadership. Um, dun lumalabas ka talaga kung gaano kagaling na leader. So. Um, if you're in a leadership position right now, I'm encouraging you to stop running away from it and embrace your position of leadership. Okay? So, I'm here to present something. It's leadership during times of crisis. All right. So, um, let's... How do we do this? Okay. 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 Oops. All right. So we're here to be leaders in times of crisis. As a leader, we're not here to run away. We're not here to um, ask our employees or people we lead to solve the problem for us. But as a leader, we should be the ones figuring it out and we should be the ones um, pushing forward, pulling the team forward. And uh, we should lead from the front not from the back because this is a time of crisis kung hindi crisis okay lang medyo pumetics but now we really need to step up and stand up to really make uh, something amazing happen during this crisis okay so you can get my books uh, my, I have three books you can um, first one is Young Man's Manual to Successful Life second one is How Underdogs Can Become Overcomers I love this book because it's my first best selling book Um, it's a success formula for underachievers who wish to be leaders in life. And then how to overcome my financial stress. So it's also a good book on finances. Right? Okay. So where you can talk to me, you just have to um, look for me, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, podcasts. So I'm there everywhere so yeah just um just talk to me anytime all right so message me and all my social media and i'd love to help you out somehow so i know all right so the way we start is what is leadership the way we start talking about leadership is to first figure out what leadership is not diba parang uh, ano ba ang hindi leadership number one leadership is not about being right all the time. When I was a new leader, akala ko dati, dahil ako yung leader, ako na masusunod. Ako yung may alam na lahat. You have to be the expert. Um, you have to master everything in life. Kasi, oh, figuro, when I was starting, I was very insecure and I was trying to prove my leadership um, position. So, I was trying to, kunyari, alam ko lahat, kahit hindi naman. And why is this important? Because um, it's not healthy for you and the organization. Okay? So, one thing you need to know right now is really um, understand what leadership is not so we can slowly figure out together what leadership is. Okay? So, um, if you're a leader, I just want to free you today. Just because you're the leader, you don't need to be right all the time. A good leader, a great leader, um, you know, admits their mistakes. A great leader, um, admits to, to his team or her team that may mga things na hindi siya alam, the things na hindi niya na figure out. So, yun. So, that's what a great leader is. Okay. Next is, um, leadership is not about creating division within the team. This is very scary because as a leader, bisimbin mga kinakainisan tayong tao sa company. Pero if you're the leader, may favoritism ka, and you're creating division in an organization, that is not good leadership. A good leader always creates um, unity. So for example, you're not the top leader of your company, and creating mutiny and gulo, that doesn't make you a good leader. It causes division. So what do you need to, even if you don't agree with the top leader, you, you only talk to the top leader and figure things out. But at the end of the day, you figure out a way to unite the team because that is our role in leadership. Also, leadership is not about the money. Just because most of the time, leaders are, are the most, um, sorry, 
leaders in an organization are the highest paid and all of those things. And sometimes people want to become leaders because dun may pera. Pero sa lang, hindi. Leadership is not about the money. For me, um, personally, money is a byproduct of good leadership. Di ba? Pag uh, I do leadership well, um, yun, may bumabalik na pera. So, you, you, your earnings grow because uh, you led well. Not So, I lead for the sake of leadership and everything that comes with it, but I don't lead just because dun mas may pera. Okay. So leadership is also not about control. I know I've had, I don't know for you, sa mga employed once upon a time, I struggled with some leaders of mine who were, ano ba tawag dito? Very bossy. <laughs> Masungit, masama ugali. So I, I really had a hard time dealing with these types of leaders. I didn't like it because um, they were... Uh, they were controlling everything. And as somebody, ay, ang hirap nun kasi hindi ka naman gamit, diba? you're not somebody that is meant to be controlled by other people. So as a leader, we have to let go and we have to learn how to delegate. The reason why I can lead different organizations at the same time is not because I'm so amazing or so talented or so gifted, but because I have learned the art of letting go. Hindi lang sa breakup, di ba? Hindi lang sa, sa heartache. But letting go is about letting go of power, letting go of control, letting go of things that, you know, that, that are beyond you. So, um, if you're a leader right now, I'm inviting you to start letting go of control. Okay. So, what is leadership not? Leadership is not about liking you. Alam mo, ako personally, when I was starting leading, I, I had a hard time, you know, because I wanted, when I would make a decision, I want my people to like it. I want people to be happy with my decision. But sometimes there are decisions as a leader that people won't like it. It won't make you popular. So if you're leading and you're worried about if people like you, that is not a good way of leading others. So, um, so, yun, leadership is not about people liking you. So, sometimes as a leader, we have to make decisions that are unpopular, focus on decision, and bring the team together and embrace that um, decision. It's easier said than done, right? But that's what we have to do. We have to bring the whole team and make them embrace the decision. Ang problema kasi, pag uh, uh, we just want people to like us, mawalan ng direction yung organization, mawalan ng direction yung team. So we'll get lost. And I don't want that to happen to you. Um, you know, people will follow you because they want to follow you, not because you're popular and they like you. Okay, leadership is not about being perfect. Yon. Um, you can be, you don't need to be perfect. You can just be you. You're not the best person in the world, but you have the responsibility of leadership and that's good enough. So embrace your call for leadership. Don't be afraid and just, you know, just be the best leader that you can be. Admit your mistakes Admit your imperfections. Admit when you make a wrong decision and this will make you an even better leader. This will make people say, wow, this leader is just worth following. So as a leader, we, we encourage you, I encourage you to admit your mistakes and imperfections. And um, lastly, this is what I love. Leadership is not about you. A lot of leaders come up to me and they say, Jay Paul, alam mo, I'm not a good leader kasi ito, 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 ganyan, ganyan, hindi nagkaka, ano. And the moment you start thinking about that, you would start embracing the thought na pag umokay, ikaw ang razon. Friends, my dear leaders, it's not about you. As a leader, it's our role to make things happen. And what we want is people don't notice it. Pag ganito yan eh, pagka nagkamali-mali, kasalanan nino natin as leaders. It's our fault. Whether it's indirect, nyari, tao mo yung nagkamali, sino leader? Ikaw. Kasalanan mo pa din. But, if everything is successful, if things fall into place, kaninong, um, who made the win? Not you. It's our team. So, leadership, on the end of the day, it's a thankless job. 
But why do we need to lead? Because it's part of the gift that we were given to make things happen, to push things forward, and to create beautiful things in life. So leadership is not about you. It's about the team. It's about the mission. It's about the goal. It's the vision. It's about the people that you are also leading. So um, kung gusto mo maging leader dahil pakul ka, I suggest you go, go out anymore. You want to be a leader because you want to be popular. You want to be great. That's, that's not leadership. And I think you should stop leading all throughout. But if you're ready to embrace what leadership really is, I, I want to thank you for being here. Okay? And I'm so excited for your journey. All right. So what is leadership? all about let's start discussing it um leadership is bringing is very simple this is point a and point b i'll I'll tell you a few stories so that i can explain it um so for example you're gonna run a race and where do you start starting position and you stop at the ending position which is the start and finish start is point a the finish line is point b it's easy to start because you're excited and it's easy to end because, oh, kahit pagod ka na, you see the end, you can finish it. In the middle between the first kilometer to the last kilometer of your race is going to be the hardest. Why? Because, you know, uh, marami ng problema ang lalabas, maraming challenges, maraming struggles, and all of those things. So that is our biggest challenge as a leader. And that's where we need to shine the most, in the middle of point A, to point B. When nothing is happening, when things are boring, when problems are sorting out, when problems are just, you know, ginigising ka ng problema sa buhay, that's when we're called to be the best leaders that we can be. So for me, um, basically, what, so, sorry, what is leadership for you? You can comment below. Um, Leadership is, so we discussed already ahead Leadership, what is leadership not about? Leadership is not about control. It's not a popularity contest. It's not about being uh, right all the time. So that's what leadership is not. So for you, what leadership is? And the moment you decide, you have to write on your own, write for yourself and decide, what is leadership? I'll, I'll give you an example, you know. Um, as a leader, these are the things that happened to me lately. Um, you know, so I have a logistics, I lead a logistics company. And um, during this crisis, it, was been, it has been very hard for us just because um, money has been sparse because um, may mga delayed payments, may mga gastusin, we had to pay hazard pay. So, and even if we were operating, the demands got lower. So, medyo hirap na hirap. We were, it was really a struggle for us. So, I really had to decide, ano ba magagaw, ano mang gagawin ko? No, I, I had to figure out ways. So, for example, I, we, we st- I talked to the team and we slowly opened this concept. It's called SME Services. So, we started um, doing pickup supply and delivery services for SMEs. Bakit? Uh, we just needed the cash flow. And then number two, we wanted to help the uh, businesses and we wanted to our employees to always have uh, jobs. And then we wanted to help people who lost their jobs. So those were the rationale why we opened up SME services as a logistics company. And voila, um, we're growing more than ever. We're, we're moving forward in the business and we are really, really excited. Um, you know, for me as a CEO of this company, I, I remind, I do my best. Kasi ngayon ang hirap. We're, we're almost five months in the pandemic. And what is my main job? As a leader, when I see my people na wala ng gana, nasa stress, burned out, it's my job to remind them why we're doing what we're doing. What is our purpose? Bakit kami gumigising sa umaga? I remember one guy was saying, every gising is a blessing. Every day is a blessing in life. So we just, as a leader, it's my role to remind the team why we're doing what we're doing. Ikaw, do you still know why you're doing what you're doing? Do people know why you're doing what you are doing? You have to just embrace life. That point A to point B 
that's your responsibility. Whether it's a project or a long-term vision, life is all about point A to point B. So what is leadership for you? Only you can answer. But for me, as a message for today, this is my message for you. Leadership is bringing your team from point A to point B. So for example, you're moving from analog finance to digital finance. That's a project. It's point A, analog. And point B is digital. Um, you have a vision to change the world. You start at point e, A and that point B is the end. For example, um, Apple create, Steve Jobs wanted to create the uh, um, best Apple computers, uh, best phone, iPhone for people. And that was point A. And point B, um, you know, Apple is the biggest now. So uh, that's point B. So it's bringing people from point A to point B. Because along the way, maraming struggle. May manufacturer problem, supply problem, may personal problem. And there's just so many problems that come um, that happen or arrive in between point A and point B. So it's as a leader, we have to, you know, um, navigate during these challenging times, um, these problems. So my question for you is, as a leader, how are you dealing with the stress from point A to point B? Sinisigawan mo ba yung mga tao mo? Nagagalit? Do you run away? Do you cower in fear? Do you just sleep it? Or you stand up and take charge, Right? As a leader, I have a question for you. Do people love to work for you? Or they fear you? Or do people just um, steal or run away from you? Kasi baka mamaya, kaya maraming problema sa company mo or sa organization that you're leading. Because maybe as a leader, it's you. You're the problem. Because just because you're a great salesperson doesn't make you a great leader. Just because you're great in finance doesn't necessarily make you a great leader. So, um, great leader is not a technical, technical skill. It's really a people skill and a vision skill. And it's a patient skill. It's very complicated. So, as a leader, can you bring your team from point A to point B? And the better leader you are, the bigger the impact you and your team can create because of your leadership. So as a leader, are you creating impact or are you just um, you know, running through the races or just going with the flow or you just wait la? Are you just reacting or just taking are you taking charge? Let me give you a few moments to reflect about that. As a leader, what are you doing? Are you taking charge or are you letting things go away? Well, one of the things I love the most was discussed by John Maxwell. And it says, everything rises and falls on leadership. The strength and failure of an organization is based on the leader. Grabe, di ba? Di na nga tayo, thankless job na nga. Ikaw pa yung pagod. Tapos, parang wala ka namang ginagawa. Parang feeling mo minsan, wala kang ginagawa. Pero ang dahil mo rin ginagawa. So, but you know what? As a leader, it's our role. Everything rises and falls on leadership. Is the organization safe because of you or not? Will the organization grow or not? And it's your based on you and your leadership. So this is my question for you right now. As a leader, will you survive or will you thrive? Are you focused on just surviving with your team or are you focused on making your organization thrive? Ako, nung start ng pandemic, I was really just, sige na, bahala, let's just survive this by about for two or three weeks. Um, the, matatapos din to. So that was what I was just focusing on. And, you know, I had to decide. I want the organization to thrive. I want the organization to flourish. So I, I took one, two days, to, that did meditation, um, focused and started reflecting. And I just said, we're going to plan. And then I talked to the team. I had meetings. We, we, we did um, 
just collaboration. And now we're, we're slowly implementing and we're still planning again. Implement, planning, implement, planning, implement. You go back to the drawing board. Why? Because we are so excited for this concept. We want to thrive. We want to grow. We want to succeed. We want things to happen in life. All right? So here's my question. I'm going to give you a few moments to just reflect and just focus on yourself. As a leader, are you reacting or are you taking charge? Because if you're reacting with everything that's happening, you will just be in survival mode. Or if you are taking charge, you will thrive. So reaction will become survival. Taking charge will be about thriving. My question is, do you want your organization to survive or do you want your organization to thrive? Think about it. You're in charge of your future. And the thing is, how do you not know if you're not a leader if you blame others for it? Ah, kasi may COVID, yung ganyan, yung. Yeah, I mean, yes, may COVID, daming situation. But if you're blaming others all the time, it's it's a leadership challenge. It's it's not good leadership. Sorry. I'll be honest with you. Every leader faces different problems every single day. And that's the, you know, that's the job of a leader to help make things happen for the team. So, are you taking charge or reacting? I'm sorry if I'm being, you know, very, very direct, but I, all I want to do for you today is, and for everyone, is to help you succeed. I want you to grow during this crisis. I believe we're all in the same boat. And what you need to do base, is based on you. You want to survive or you want to thrive? You want to grow or you don't want to grow? So it's your call, your decision. We have to just embrace it. If you survive, Okay lang. If you just focus on reacting and survival, wala naman problema doon. But here's the thing. Huwag kang magreklamo na ito lang nangyayari and all of that. That you're just surviving. Don't, don't make reklamo for that. But if you want to thrive, and then embrace it. Don't reklamo. Then as well, na mahirap. Because both are challenging, it's really up to you as a leader what you're focused on. Do you want to react or do you want to take charge? Do you want to survive or do you want to thrive? And how do you start? You start by leading yourself so you can lead others. Diba? Ang pinakamale atin as a leader is we want to be, what do you say this, hypocrites. We want others to do something, but tayo mismo ayo natin go in. So as a leader, you have to lead yourself first. So for example, um, according to John Maxwell, leaders are the lead of the team he or she leads. So, kunyari, ikaw hindi nag-grow, hindi mag-grow yung organization mo. So, if you want people to work harder, ikaw mismo hindi nag-work, ay hindi pwede yun. So, for me, I want my business or the organizations I grow, I, I lead to keep on growing. I need to lead myself. How do I do it? I work out four times a week. Um, even if onti lang, I still have to take care of myself so that I can be a better leader to the people that I lead. Um, I exercise, I study, I read a lot of books, I read a lot of articles, um, I watch YouTube, I listen to podcasts, and these are the things that I do just to grow my mind, grow my thoughts, I meditate, I pray, and ask people how they are, and all of those things, that's how I lead myself, and if I lead myself well, I can lead others as well. So with that, I want to ask you all, are you leading yourself well? Are you a good example to the team you lead? Are you a good person? Are you a great leader? Be- before you can lead others well, you have to lead others well. So after this talk, maybe about 5 p.m., I'm going to work out for the day because, you know, I'm late. Atamad ako, maulan eh. But I still will do it because, you know, every, every sacrifice may pinupuntahan yon. So leadership pays you know, may sulit. Sulit. If you make the sacrifice, everything will pay off. All right? So how do you do it? I have six drivers for your business to grow, okay? 
So here are a few things to help you grow your business or grow your leadership team or whatever organization you're leading. So here are six drivers that I need you to focus on and you know reflect about. So I want you to prepare your notebooks. I want you to prepare your paper or whatever writing material. And I want you to answer for yourself. Okay? All right. I'm going to give you five minutes to get your writing material. Sorry, five seconds pala. All right. Number one, personal development. This is very important. This is the first driver of a leader to make things happen, to lead during this crisis. During this crisis, are you growing as a leader? Are you learning? Are you making yourself better? Are you investing in yourself or not? Okay. Next is purpose. Do you know bakit kang trabaho or you're just working for whatever reason? Ang buhay kasi, di ba, parang biyahe yan. You move forward. Talagang logistics na logistics kami. And here's the question. Imagine your life, you're running. Pagod na pagod ka every day, di ba? You wake up tired, you sleep tireder. Um, may luto ka pa, may anak ka pa, may pamilya. Ang dami natin iniisip ngayon. So we feel like we're running every single day. And here's my question for everyone. Are you running in a treadmill that you're running really hard but you're going nowhere? Or tumatakbo ka sa kalsada na kahit nakapagod, you're moving forward? A lot of us feel busy. Why? Because we're running in a treadmill and nothing is happening. We feel so just blah. And nothing is happening in our lives. So that is very important. Do you know your purpose in life. For me, I want to really add value and help other people have better lives. Gusto kong maraming taong matulungan umasenso sa buhay. That's why I'm doing and pushing business so hard because I want to help my employees and future employees. What about you? Do you know your purpose? Do you know your team's purpose? Diba? For example, we work as a finance. Ano nga bang purpose namin? Ah, we need to give, for example, you need to give um, quality reports that will help the business. You need to make tipid money. Why? Because um, saving money will help the business move forward. So you need to know your purpose. Why? Because you're not a machine. Machines because they don't need to know their purpose. They just do what they're programmed to do. But we are human beings. We need to know our purpose for doing why we're doing things. So I'm asking you today, do you know your purpose or... Um, wala, hindi mo alam purpose mo. So I want you to know your purpose. So because if you know your purpose, and then if your team knows your purpose, your team's purpose, it will just make them work harder. So, okay. So for example, you're in a crisis. Okay, um, you need to grow the finance. We need to sell. We need to think. We need to study how we can pivot. Okay, then that's your, okay, pivot. Bakit? Then your team will ask, bakit ba natin kailangan mag-pivot? Kasi we want to grow. We don't want to just survive. We want to thrive. Uh, we want to keep all our employees. Whatever purpose you have for doing your project or your program or your leadership, you need, everyone needs to know the purpose of why you're doing what you're doing. And then number three, people. This is very important because as a company, for example, in the logistics company, the most important thing or the most imp important asset of our logistics company are not the trucks. Bakit? Ang truck pwede mong hiramin sa ibang kumpanye. But the most valuable asset our company has, tao. The people we have. The most valuable asset every organization I lead are the people. They're, they're talented, they're skilled, and we love one another. So that is why I make a culture of the people related um, culture, people-centric culture, um, a primary important thing in, in my organizations. So kayo din, how important are the people in your organization, in your team? Importante ba sila or ginagamit nyo lang sila? Do you treat people like machines or do you treat people as partners? You know, for me, as an, I'm, I mean, I'm not the best entrepreneur in the world, but you know, I do my best. For me, very simple lang eh. Um, I want my people to know 
that this company is their family. Na itong opisina, lahat ng ginagawa na namin, kahit kami magkakasama, bahay to, family kami. That is the culture that I lead. And for me, I don't need to really take care of everyone, but I just do my best ganito. I take care of the top leaders in the organization, whether in the feast, in the company, or whatever. And then that creates a culture of care. Alam mo, ito ah. You know, I don't mind opening the door for my pahinante. Nauna ako eh. Pagbukas ako siyang pinto. Bakit? Tao siya eh. Yung value ko sa employees I work with, hindi because anong job position niya. I treat them like human beings. So as a leader, are you treating the people you lead with uh, care? Or are you treating them na parang uh, wala lang? So that's something very important that you need to um, discuss. That you need to decide on. That you need to embrace. That you need to figure out. So how are you dealing with people? Okay? Number four, plan. So for example, in a crisis, hindi pwedeng yung react ka lang. You need to start taking charge. Hindi pwedeng gawin natin to, gawin natin to, gawin natin. Bakit? Pagod kayong lahat. Di ba? So you need to have a plan. So you know, um, you're learning, you take care of your people, you know your purpose, and then, okay, anong plano natin? So kami, meron kaming things sa business now that we know it's just a COVID band-aid or it's a COVID short-term thing to just make money right now. But then we're also now focusing on the long-term plans of the company because we want to go forward. So for example, uh, nyari, sa biyahe, hindi pwedeng pumunta yung truck namin sa, pag, sa warehouse tapos, ah, bakit po dito? La, hindi namin alam. Diba? For every day, we need to have a load plan, delivery plan for every single trip, for every single truck, for every single team. Ano yung mga kailangan namin? Ano yung karga? Saan yung karga? So ano yung karga? Saan ang karga? Anong oras ang karga? Anong oras ang delivery time? And all of the, anong bigat, all of those details. These um, data help us plan better and execute better the business. All right. So, kayo, um, are you just reacting to every problem that's um, facing you, or are you? Do you have a plan to solve the problem and just move forward com- together as a team? Okay. Number five, product. Isip mo lang to parang um, yung mga produkto nyo ba ngayon? pang-crisis. Di ba? Parang, baka kailangan nyo mag-pivot. For example, may kaibigan ako nagbibenta ng adobo. Adobo meals. So, mahirap. Kasi, wala naman kumakain masyado. So, we were at uh, Kusap kami. Tapos, we just figured out together, bakit hindi na lang parang adobo frozen? Ha? Huh? Ano yun? Adobo flakes frozen. Nakapack siya, marami, isang kilo, dalawang kilo. Tapos iinitin na lang ng family. Pagutom na sila. Di ba? Sarap. Company's name is Montines just in case you wanna order. Uh, we deliver for them as well. It's mas sulit pa. Mas malaki kita nila. Tapos people can just, you know, stock, stock up on the adobo flakes and then make it their comfort food at home. So yun. So alam nyo ba yung produkto na pwede mong edit for this crisis? For example, you're in an organization. Alam niyo ba yung produkto niyo? Kunyari, recruitment ka. Anong produkto mo? Magtanggal ng tao? Hindi. Anong produkto ng recruitment? Mag-hire ng tamang empleyado para sa kumpanya, di ba? Kunyari, ikaw accounting, anong, anong produkto mo? Bigay ng tamang accounting procedures or tamang accounting forms and all of those things. Ikaw, sales, anong produkto mo? Magbenta ng produkto ng kumpanya, di ba? Mag-generate ng product for the company. So you need to know what your products are, right? Okay. Kasi kung hindi, la, wala mangyayari sa atin. Crisis na lang. Next is profit. Lastly is profit. Why is this important? Because you need to start first with your personal development and then your purpose and then your um, your plan and the people and, and the product. And you serve all of it together. What happens? Profit. Profit. A lot of people sit on problema. 
profit yung main driver. And there's nothing wrong with money. Pero money is usually a byproduct of good service or a good product. Hindi siya yung main thing in life. Di ba? Uh, ba't ka masaya? May natulungan ka, di ba? So, as a team member or as a leader, you know, the, the income, the money part is a byproduct of hard work, good work, great work. Okay? So, during your, this crisis, this is what I want you to do. You start with um, personal development, All right, sorry. Wait. All right, you started personal development. Then you find your purpose. You focus on your people. You figure out a plan for your crisis management, crisis plan. Then you figure out the right product during crisis. And then you know, the byproduct is profit. That's how you lead during crisis. It's okay to be vulnerable. Um, it's okay to tell your employees na, wait, I'm, I'm not sure. I need help. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. But you have to do it together as a team. You have to figure out things together as a team because leadership is not about you. Leadership is moving your team from point A to point B. I, I love this um, concept from one of my favorite leaders. His name is Craig Groeschel. And he says, people would rather follow a leader that is real than a leader that's always right. Leadership is about, you know, being honest with your people, with your team, and be honest. Pag may problema, guys, we have a problem. Let's figure it out together. If you, it's you who made a mistake, ganun talaga. Uh, you have to admit the mistake, right? So you, you just embrace the truth. In life. So I repeat, leadership is bringing your team from point A to point B. How are you leading your team right now? Are you leading them from point A to point B happily, stressed, struggling, afraid? So figure it out. I know you can. I know you have what it takes. And when we see each other, I want you to know that it's not about um, just the money. Money is a byproduct. And what I want to know maybe three months from now is you've been able to pivot properly, you've been able to succeed, and you've been able to help a lot of people, and you've grown in what you do. And I want you to be the best leader you can be. I know you have what it takes, and that's good leadership. So leadership is leading people from point A to point B.